My name's Randy Stroop. I'm 54 years old. I have two boys. I've got four granddaughters and one grandson. And my mother, I was living here taking care of her. But now she's been put in an assisted living home. Next thing I know, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in December 19, 2006. A year ago Christmas, they gave me two to four months to live. So as far as I know, prognosis is today or tomorrow. After the first chemotherapy failed, my doctor decided he wanted to try a stronger chemotherapy. While the Oregon Health Plan decided that as long as it didn't increase my life for five years, then they didn't want to pay for it. Mid-September, I received a letter from the Oregon Health Plan. It said in the letter they would do anything for comfort and palliative care, uh, including a, a doctor-assisted suicide. Dear Randy Stroop, Dr. Michael Monticelli submitted a request for authorization dated March 26, 2008 for Lane Oregon Health Plan to pay for cancer treatment for you. Unfortunately, we were unable to approve that request. Your condition at this stage meets criteria for comfort and palliative care. Comfort and palliative care may include physician aid in dying under Oregon, death with dignity. Yeah, they don't care. It still just appalls me. No man has got the right to offer money to have somebody else killed. I'm a man of simple methods, and the person who wrote this letter needs to be put in prison for the rest of his life. I do prison time for a lot less than this. To think that they could even start to put a price tag on my life or send me a letter saying they'll pay to kill me, but they won't, won't pay to help me. Dignity means to me that you can hold your head up high. And I don't see how anybody can take their life and hold their head up high while doing it.